been waiting very patiently while we were talking to uh, Sai, but I'm sure you found his session interesting. He has a lot of interesting things always, to say. Always, I mean, yeah. listening to uh, Sai is always a pleasure, yeah. So, um, Kashmir Files, it's been a year now. Uh, you've shown it all over the world to more than just the pundits. Uh, a lot of other people have seen it too. What, what do you feel after a, a year after making that film? What's your sense of, uh, do you have a sense of distance from it or do you still feel emotional when you look back at how you made it? I'm trying to remember because I move very fast. I very right. quickly move on and I've all just finished as I sit here. Uh, just a few days back, we finished shooting a very, very important film of our times called The Vaccine War. So while the whole world is still discussing the Kashmir files, uh, I don't Some think... Some Israelis in particular. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people discuss that. Uh, but because people have used this as a weapon, you know, and they do it for their own vested interests. But I have moved on. We already uh, finished vaccine war and now I am uh, into compiling all the four year old research which has been going on in seven, eight cities for the Delhi files and going to write the script of Delhi files. But okay, so uh, the Kashmir files... Which you files, still haven't told us what Delhi files is about. Uh, what Delhi Files is about, when Delhi Files comes, we'll talk about it. Otherwise, people are going to make my life hell. <laughs> so they won't let me, let me live in peace. But as far as the Kashmir Files is concerned, yeah. um, Kashmir Files, if you have to make a balance sheet, I really don't know what the terror groups and uh, people who support them ideologically or people who are against the Kashmir Files, what is their balance sheet. But as far as I am concerned, what it has done is, that the film used itself as soft power of India and diplomatically it convinced many, many policy makers in the world and I have a list of all those policy makers and some of the top policy makers of the world and uh, I just came here, to, uh, I was recording something in the room because the speaker of uh, US Congress asked me to make a video on Kashmir after seeing the film, the speaker. McCarthy, who's just been uh, elected. So in UK Parliament, in Germany, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Holland, uh, in USA, obviously, in South Africa, Johannesburg, in India. So, so many policy makers uh, have become aware of a problem which they were not aware, A. Second, a lot of people were aware, but they used to think that Kashmir is not an Indian uh, land. And we have illegally occupied it because that's what the propaganda has been for so many years. And when the uh, news of killings used to come, people used to believe that uh, Indian army is killing Muslims in Kashmir. And only after seeing the film, they, for the first time, they got to know that, oh, there were people from other communities also who lived in uh, Kashmir. Like when you think of Iran or Iraq or Afghanistan, the only thing you can think of, some of the most educated people here would think that only Muslims live in these countries. And that's exactly how Kashmir was positioned. By who? By our own people. So that myth has been busted. Second thing is, now you see, also you see that uh, Kashmir is being debated almost every second day now. Even one killing in uh, Kashmir becomes a national news, uh, which is a very, very big thing for a film to achieve. Which other film I don't think in recent history has been able to create so much of conversation around a theme. So, okay. And also, uh, something which we believe is a matter of pride for us and which has actually uh, done a big thing. And since you are from, uh, you know the film industry very well, Mark my words, not today, but after a few years, or maybe when I am not on this earth, people will understand the value of a jury chairman to come on stage and call this film propaganda and vulgar. Why it is very important for them to come out, at least now you know what happens when you disrupt a corrupt, lethal ecosystem. And after a few years, you will understand the contribution of the Kashmir files in India's socio-political relevance and you will understand how many enemies of India we have busted and exposed. So this is the balance sheet of Kashmir files.
The unfortunate bit, of course, is that the Kashmiri Pandits are still where they were, no, abandoned no, by the no, state. No, no, I, I don't think so. It's not true. It's not true. If you start calculating life on every second, every day basis, then perhaps yes. But no, today Kashmir, government is pushed, government is forced. I know I meet these people. I know how much stress and pressure Prabhu would know they are to solve this problem. Every second day their high-powered meetings are happening in PMO or HMO or somewhere. They are really concerned about it. All media channels are talking about it. This is all a film can do. I mean, if you think that we are going to really pick up Kashmiri Pandits, take them to Kashmir, if you expect that from me, then thank you very much. But I don't think this is, uh, I signed for that. But you did sign up for the community to express their pain, to express their uh, trauma. And it was a lot of trauma. It's a lot of pain that they continue to suffer. Their continual targeting killings, even now in uh, Kashmir. Does that not still bother you? No, what bothers me is that every day some Hindu is being killed in Kashmir. And still people think Kashmir files is propaganda. That's what bothers me. And that's why I made the film so that the younger generation knows. And it's not about Hindu and Muslim, it's about terrorism. The problem is that people don't have the spine to stand up and say, yes, terrorism exists in Kashmir and people are killed because of their religion. I did not kill 36 Sikhs in Kashmir. 36, you know that. Nobody talks about it. They were not Hindus. They were Sikhs. They called themselves different from Hindus. They were also killed. So many army personnel have been killed. And when people say that Muslims are also being killed in Kashmir, why didn't you show that? Which Muslims are being killed? Let's, let's talk about that. This is the first time I am talking about it. Which Muslims have been killed? Muslims who are working for government of India. Police, constables, post, postmasters, doodarshan officers, teachers who were in Kendri Vidyalaya, which is central government. Anybody who said, we believe in India, or uh, we, we are with India, or we respect Indian flag, those people were killed. And who had to leave Kashmir? Not even one Muslim. Have you ever met any Muslim living outside Kashmir who says, I was thrown out of Kashmir? So this is, what is propaganda? It's for you to decide what is truth and what is propaganda. I think even an idiot, five-year-old child can also understand. But then a lot of, uh, sorry, journalists and filmmakers don't understand that. Vivek, one of the problems, uh, and um, uh, I can say this uh, also because I belong to uh, uh, the Pandit community. One of the problems has been the debate around uh, the film. The film itself is undeniably true. The debate around it has become quite toxic. Do you, do you regret that? No, how can I, mean, how can I be uh, responsible for somebody else's actions? I, my company is called I Am Buddha, so I believe in some Buddhist teachings and if somebody throws dirt at you, I am not responsible for that. Is that person who's responsible? I didn't start the debate. Did I make it toxic? Who's making it toxic? I am not the jury chairman who stands up and says it's propaganda and vulgar. I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not a film director one. who says this film must not go for uh, Oscars. Yeah, yeah. Am I that person? I am not saying it. It's somebody from Bollywood who's saying it. Anurag Kashyap said it, and he said it when there was no discussion of Oscar. Why did he say that? Ask him. Don't ask me. I am not the toxic person. Toxic are those people who did let it happen for the last 30 years and now they want to kill me because I exposed them. That's why they are coming on stage. We are disruptors. We have disrupted what? I have not disrupted Bollywood like Bollywood people want to believe. I have disrupted this hypocrisy. I have disrupted this truth. This film, we made it, you have seen the film. Anybody who believes in Saraswati would know Anybody who has little conscience would know how much honesty and sincerity with which we have made this film. How much responsibility we have taken to show human emotions when we made this film. Every Kashmiri Pandit knows that. Every human being knows that. It's not we are making it a debate. We wanted people, and who are these people who are making it toxic? The same people who say, say black lives matter and we should have empathy and compassion for blacks. We should have compassion and empathy for everything, dogs, cats, ants, 
rats and everything, but you should have no compassion and empathy. There are cat mothers and cat fathers on Twitter and the same people go and they abuse Kashmir files and they laugh at the killings and the murder of your brothers and sisters. It's not me who should be angry, it's you who should be angry. You means, I mean, your community should be angry, but that community never got angry. They started educating their children. And today, in a, I was recently, just uh, very, very recently, I was in America. Golden Globe people had invited me. They wrote about us also, our film. But sadly, they saw our film when all the selections were done. And they told me this thing, that Kashmiri Pandit community is the most educated and perhaps the, one of the richest ethnic communities in US. That's right. All right? Then who should be angry, not me? Vivek, you've always been an outlier, uh, even in your own industry. Uh, you've always... Uh, it's not my industry, by the way. I belong to Indian cinema industry. I don't belong to Bollywood. I resigned from Bollywood. <laughs> why did you resign from Bollywood? And why doesn't Bollywood like you? Why doesn't it... I mean, it's a tremendous... Bollywood worships money, okay? We all know that. I mean, there's not been a more profitable film in recent history than Kashmir Files. Why do they still not like you? Close your eyes and think of Congress of 2011 to 2014. Think of that phase of Congress. I'm not saying how it is today. Corrupt, arrogant, uh, debauch, uh, uh, totally indifferent. Yeah, debauch, yeah. Totally indifferent, greedy ready to sell Indian interests, which they still do, okay? Always talking enemy's language, nothing to do with India's common man's concerns. That's how Congress was. This is exactly what Bollywood is today. Exactly. And that's why people are uh, revolting. They are rebelling against Bollywood because Bollywood is not what middle class common Indians want to identify with the kind of Bollywood we have today. See all the top 10 stars, directors, producers. Look at their faces. Imagine, close your eyes right now at this moment. Tell me which one of them actually represents Indian ethos or Indian culture or Indian society. Then, Yet you have a movie. Then, then I, I, how can I belong there? Every word of mine, every pore of my body exudes Indian culture, Indian ethos, Indian philosophy. How can I fit in over there? So Yet that's why they cancelled me. They cancelled you, but you cancelled them in return. Oh yeah, why not? But I'm not Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> Yet you have a movie like <coughs> Patan, which comes in again, wins over the box office, and Bollywood is rejoicing again. Great times are back. Uh, we're back in business. Good for them. Good for them. It's just a... Uh, I don't know if it's the beginning of an end or it's the end of a beginning, I don't know. We'll know in some time. I mean, see, this is the problem. Not even once, till date, you show me one place where I have spoken about the commercials or box office or the success of Kashmir Files. Every single day I'm working almost door to door, door to door to ensure, even when I'm sitting here right now, just now, since I've come in the afternoon, we are making a, a docu-series called Kashmir Unreported. You know, on the history, art, literature, culture, this thing. We are working on that. My idea, idea is to use cinema as a soft power, as a diplomatic tool to tell the world what we failed to tell the world in the last 70 years, that yes, we are responsible people, we understand human rights, and we are not the kind of people you want to believe. I want Indian cinema to do to India what Hollywood did to USA, but unfortunately, we still want to go and showcase this blockbuster and say this is what we are all about. We are not about that. I'm not that. I'm definitely not that. I'm not proud of that cinema then how can I belong there? Let them be happy. Time very soon, um, lots of films are coming in next few months. You will see how middle class reacts to it. Do you think the resurgence of southern cinema or the rise of southern cinema uh, or its emergence on the national scene has something to do with uh, the fact that people are tired or jaded about Bollywood? I don't think so. This is also very hyped up thing. Do South you think cinema. it's a nonsensical debate? South South makes so many hundreds of films. Two, three films working nationally and globally is a wonderful sign. It means it's the, it's the re-emergence of Indian cinema. 
and i am happy i hope that bengali cinema marathi cinema gujarati all kinds of cinema prosperous becomes prosperous and we also give birth to something called hindi cinema okay uh, which, which has died which is different from there is no hindi cinema anymore where is hindi cinema name one what is uh, what is bollywood producing then crap junk <laughs> in which language what does mcdonald produce tell me one thing you have been here let's let me ask you an academic question it sounds academic but it's a very simple question right uh tell me in last 5 years or last 10 years name how many great writers directors actors music directors what have you produced name one ha huh? yeah obviously obviously uh, why not talk show host yeah so but i mean somebody who has contributed to cinema i am not saying somebody uh, who's like how do you define brilliance and excellence you don't somebody who has contributed some you say yeah this is the contribution to cinema has anybody done r&d zero which industry in the world can ever grow or survive by spending 0% r&d in their entire Two, three thousand crores. The films you are talking about—it's such a big blockbuster and all that. It's like, ab dekhiye, ab kahin bhi bandar ka dance hota hai, pachas saal log to ikhatte hi ho jaate hain. No, there is a difference between cinema and circus. Even circus is entertainment. The problem is the Bollywood has a circus mentality. That's why in their films, one of the biggest, most successful dialogue is cinema means entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. So does circus. so does bandar ka dance even that girl walking on that uh, rope that uh, tight rope she is also entertaining people but is this what cinema should be used for that is my question i said i don't belong here i will not use it for that for me it is not just entertainment entertainment i when i walk into somebody's house in us i want them to say oh acha you guys make cinema and you make good cinema people just laugh wherever you go they say oh we are very popular in germany for what for Our song what? and dance huh a song and dance song and dance and which is also not something which is of exceptional quality the same dances i am seeing i mean if you just uh, put a blob on the hero's face or heroine i mean if you if you edit some big stars uh, clips you won't even know which one is from which film you won't know it's a sad commentary and i think it's time that we, instead of glorifying we ask questions i started asking questions these people say we should uh, speak truth to power we should dissent against the establishment what else am i doing what else am i doing and the people who say who go to jnu and stand up there and you say i am here to speak truth to power they don't have the bloody balls or guts to speak truth to power uh, the to the, the power is what the producer director who are making these films they can't utter a word what are they talking about but um, vivek you you know when you talk about creative consciousness you're always talking about rebelling of being uh, you know in a constant state of change yet here you seem to be uh, almost endorsing the state or the state is endorsing you sometimes it's difficult to endorsing tell. what the state the government it's sometimes it's difficult to uh, uh, figure is the government endorsing you uh, and you know uh, benefiting from you or are you benefiting from the government which which is true I mean, is this, either true this is a this is a trick question <laughs> you know ki have you stopped beating your wife you know so it's a very trick question no no i know I, that you I, can't beat your wife no one can beat her see i'll tell you what i have grown in an india yeah where i have always seen filmmakers uh supporting their prime minister hmm. okay whoever you, the prime minister rajkumar raj kapoor lata mangeshkar devanand everybody you see so many pictures with nehru and indira gandhi nehru has said so much about uh bollywood indira gandhi has said so much about 
Bollywood, they have, there has been exchange, and for all political processions, so when they have to raise funds and all, Bollywood has been there. So there has been a great relationship, Bollywood uh, and this thing. Okay, and previous government also have seen, they were like, they used to, I know people by name and by this thing, they would walk into uh, Ten Janpat Road like they were walking into their cousin's house, you know. And I know so many people. The problem is that... Name, name, name. No, but let's not, I mean, it's not appropriate. Okay, if they name me, then I will name them. So, but what happened in 2014, I received a letter signed by Amir Khan and this and that and everybody in the industry and they said, now a fascist is going, coming and he's a dictator and all that and we should not vote for it. And believe you me, you can, if you meet Pallavi ever, she's a very, very honest person, ask her. I had no much clue about Mr. Narendra Modi. I didn't have much clue about him because I really don't care much about state chief ministers. If you ask me, okay, tell me something about Telangana's chief minister or Kerala's, I don't know much about them. So I didn't know much. But then I said, why are they doing this? And I started then researching, understanding, and I listened to a lot of videos. I spoke to a lot of people. And I said, it sounds good to me. You know, I want a modern person. I want somebody who wants India to grow and become developed. And I want somebody who gives us our spine back. And only for one reason, that here is a motivator, okay, or say a mass motivator, who inspires the young people to have confidence in this country. I think nothing can be a bigger achievement than that for the rest of the things, their IS officers and everything. We need a leader who inspires people, makes them believe in this country, and from I can't do culture, shifts the mass psyche to can-do culture. I like these qualities of Mr. Narendra Modi, and I openly came out and said at that time, at the cost of being cancelled, that yes, I am going to support this person. And till date, I support the person. I don't support any party. If somebody is sitting here of BJP, they would know I never, I don't, don't even know anybody from BJP. The only person I support openly is Mr. Narendra Modi. Unless you give me a choice, which is even 19, 19, 20, they say 19, 20, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, your situation in Bollywood, now let me understand this perfectly. Does anyone talk to you there and do you care? I don't even know. I mean, seriously, it's like, it's like asking a Kashmiri Pandit that uh, the, the people who live in Kashmir right now, do they care about you or do they talk to you? So the answer is, we don't know. I don't know. I, ab jo gali chhod di usa mudke kyon dekhna. So I am just doing my kind of cinema. I am doing it independently. And um, just want to tell you, we are the only, only film making people or production house in this country, perhaps for the first time, which has a full-fledged, a huge research department. And all, all my money which I earn, I put it back into that. And every time I try to pick up uh, more people, we are the only one and we are trying to change the way this industry functions. So when can we ex uh, expect vaccine wars? Vaccine war, we had announced a um, long time back. Uh, uh, it's coming on the 11th of August uh, this year. And I'm sure it will come on the 11th of August because we are going to stick. I know there are lots of people who announced after us and they want us to leave. They say, who is this? 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 पेपरों में ही छपता रहता है उन्होंने बॉक्स ऑफिस नहीं देखा कश्मीर फाइल्स का दे थिंक इट्स अ फ्लूक अच्छा दे थिंक इट्स इट्स अ दे थिंक बीजेपी डिड इट सो आपने भी सवाल वही पूछा एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू बिलीव दैट बट पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट टू 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 डू 350 करोड़ इज नॉट एंड इफ Questions from the audience, please. There have been other films that the BJP has endorsed as well, which haven't done well at all. 
No, but Hindi movies have always been endorsed by different prime ministers. Nehru ji ne shaheed film ko itna endorse kiya tha. Indra Gandhi, Manoj Kumar ki har film ko endorse karti thi. Devanand ki filmon ko bhi karti thi. Baad mein jhagda ho gaya. Baad mein nahi kiya. Haan, sab sab karte hain. Usme kaun si aisi badi baat hai? Aur Advani ji karte rahe, saari zindagi Bajpayee ji karte rahe. Matlab film critics the na. Filmon ka shock rakhne mein kya buri baat hai? Aur endorse kya? I mean, less less. I mean, chali chodi baat. Bolie bolie bolie. नहीं कोई बात नहीं और मैंने मेरे लिए तो बहुत गर्व की बात है कि मेरे देश के प्रधानमंत्री ने मेरी फिल्म को एंडोर्स किया है राइट तो थैंक गॉड माफिया ने तो नहीं एंडोर्स किया है क्वेश्चन गुड इवनिंग सर आई थिंक विद गुड पब्लिक रिसेप्शंस आर हिंदू इंटरेस्ट बीइंग शोकेस्ड इन पॉप कल्चर इन फिल्म so there is Marchi Japi, No Kali, Mopla and several other historical facts that has to be presented to the people through pop culture and it can awaken so many people. Do you think others are joining you in this particular movement and uh, changing good. India? Okay, so uh, good. And this is something I want all of you to understand. And it's a very important question he has asked. Does the success of a film also creates platform for a lot of aspiring people to uh, do that. Does a Tesla car change the way we drive or is just one-off experiment? Kartike, by the way, is our film, okay? And uh, try to understand this. Let's take two examples. You were just talking about Pathan becoming a blockbuster, which is truth, no problems. Everybody says BJP supported us, that's why this film became so big. Somebody should ask them also who supported you, why your film has become big. You will find if you don't make this mistake of painting one film with political lens, the other one, this was the public. Who the public and who was to provoke the film? You should also ask questions about this. And you should ask questions about every kind of Why should, I didn't say it before, now I have decided I'll speak. Why questions should be asked only to me? Is it a crime to make a movie? Ask them also, bhai, ki aapne to kahi kuch corruption nahi kiya usko hit karne ke liye. Aapne to kuch unethical, galat cheez, illegal cheez nahi ki. These questions should be asked when you meet them next time. Okay, now try to understand this. So take these two great examples. One film with zero stars, zero marketing, I mean paid marketing, which is like hoardings and all those things. No theaters, a film which started marketing itself six months ago in foreign lands with our own money became a huge blockbuster, okay? And behind that, nobody thinks that I had sacrificed me, my family, my children, people who worked with me, we had sacrificed 10 years, 2010 to 2020, 12 years of our life. Everybody used to feel great, Are Buddha in a traffic jam to release new way, but we did that. We made Buddha in a traffic jam, we made Bharat ki khoj, we made uh, Tashkent files. We, we kept doing, we kept growing one by one, one by one. And after, and after the Kashmir files, today we have commissioned so many researchers on different day after, on the 12th, I'm going to Machir Japi. From there, I'm going to uh, where the great action day took place. We, our four teams are right now making videos, researching those 99-year-old, 102-year-old people who are survivors of Great Action Day in Bangladesh, in Rangoon, in Tripura, right now as I speak to you right now. Uh, and I'll put their pictures on Twitter once I go back to my room. This is what we are doing right now. We are investing back in research. The vaccine war we have made with the money, 100% of the money which we made in uh, Kashmir, files. Kashmir files and it's a smaller film than uh, the Kashmir files so you would understand that we have made at least lesser money than what people claim we have made. Now ask them the same question. We are getting new actors, we are getting new music directors, we are getting um, uh, new editors, we are giving chance to a lot of people. We have started a boutique industry which is parallel and we write good language. Ask them the same question. Who are going to be the beneficiaries of your blockbuster success? Just see who are the beneficiaries of their success. See who are the beneficiaries of our success. And you 
you don't have to be an expert you will know what kind of cinema india should be making and celebrating good yes please Good evening, sir. Your uh, film had a very strong dialogue tha when Pallavi Ma'am says, "Sarkar unki hai to kya hua? System to aaj bhi hamar hai." <laughs> Do you see that system changing slowly in India? Of course, and see, system will change. It will take a lot of time. Please understand, there are a lot of people who are disrupting. There are two, three kinds of people in my mind. Okay, one, jo ki, ठीक है, सरकार है तो उसकी रस्ते में चल दिए. What happens when a when a strong government comes, a lot of other people get empowered whose voices were not heard. Look at Sai. He is a disruptor. He has disrupted a narrative. He has punctured that narrative. And there are lots and lots of people like that. Believe you me, I know at least so many people, 10, 15 people I know very closely. They are disrupting the system differently, but they are indeed changing the system. It will take time. My generation is not going to change, but the next generation, when they will say, see, when people change system, when they understand it is possible, India has been living in a defeatist society for 70 years. We were trained, we are conditioned, like rats get conditioned, we are conditioned that we can't do it. India can't do it. That's why we say, what do you say outside? Don't do that's our biggest problem. And today, we are shifting, the society is shifting to can-do culture. I, and I, I made this film, The Vaccine War. Who knows who made Indian vaccine? Does anybody know who made this vaccine? Our own vaccine? Who made? This is the problem with this country. When I'll make this film, I, trust me, today we are sitting here, 15th August, how many people are going to attack me? Because they don't know the truth. And when truth will be told to them, they will say, nahi, ye to bol hai. Kyunki bheedi aaya, bheedi aaya, itni adat lag chuki hai ki ab wo aapko farak hi nahi padta hai. No. The vaccine was made by Indian Council for Medical Research and National Institute of Virology. And that candidate was given to Bharat Biotech, which is a manufacturing facility. They put it in bottles. But how it has been projected by media? That other Poonawala and these people, no, other Poonawala's vaccine was made by AstraZeneca. This vaccine was made by NIV and ICMR. And if I tell you something, you will be shocked. You won't believe it. That 80% people who worked to make this vaccine were all women. And the kind of women, the kind of women which the left of India doesn't even want to believe that they are empowered because they have no vanity. Because they look like ordinary grandmothers and all. And these women stayed in the lab, inside the lab in those suits which have got an oxygen pipe on the top for months, for months. I know when you'll see the film, you'll know because this film uses the real names, not any other name, uses the real people. You will be shocked that one of them, one of the main scientists, her child went through so much of mental trauma that is going through therapy right now. Okay, one of the scientists' daughter had some eye issue because the mother could not attend to her for nine months or so many, seven months, she developed a tumor and she has a ma massive problem. These women, if somebody was sick, they made kala and sent it to their homes. They washed utensils, garbi saaf karti nahi. Aur wohi apni silbillon ki tarah se saali pehen ke, they kept making the vaccine inside. Do, do we ever celebrate them? Never. Never. Because nobody wants you to believe in the power of Indian middle class women. And how they are shining. And that's why I said, nobody on this earth is going to make this film. A film called Vaccine War. Who's going to make that? And that too about these 50, 60 year old, very grandmother looking like women. Who's going to celebrate them? And who's going to celebrate scientists who are called virologists and not called rocket scientists? Because you don't want to send your child to NASA. You want to send your child to NASA, not to some virology lab. No Indian has this ambition, my son should become a virologist. 
even after being locked in your houses for two years. Isn't this a powerful subject? So we said we'll make this film. Nobody gave us money. We, but all the studios want to invest 200 crore rupees in me right now for per film. All the stars want to work with me. But then for this film, nobody was willing to give even one penny, even after the Kashmir Files. So we said, what the hell, we'll make it with our own money, but we'll make this film. And we have finished shooting. Wonderful. Who all wanted to work with you, Vivek? Everyone? Uh, barring top three people. They all wanted to work with Most you? Most of them want to work with me, yes. They keep uh, calling me, sending me feelers. Every studio wants to work with me. But no, we have not changed. We are still making small-sized, not medium, small-sized, non-starter films, spending a lot of money and time on research and making films which are going to change India's narrative globally. This is our mission. Wonderful. Any last questions? Just quickly and then we'll Good let evening. Vivek go. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Uh, this is Aishwarya here. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't get your name. Uh, I'm Aishwarya. Uh, I have a quick question to you, sir. As you have said that uh, uh, you have been using cinema as a uh, tool, as a uh, power, soft power. So I want to know, do you have any plan of making an entertainment movie in the future? See, uh, I'm sorry, but this is how you have been brainwashed and conditioned. You have been told that entertainment is useless <laughs> and meaningless. That's why I was comparing it with circus, because all we have seen in last 10 years is circus. No, very rarely any film addresses the society. So you have started believing entertaining means some light-hearted song, dance, drama. My, the song in my film, Hum Dekhenge, has been a chart buster, has been the most successful song of my career. So it's not that anything which is not Meaning meaningless yeah. is entertainment. Entertainment simply means something which engages you and shows you a new perspective or takes you into an orbit where you otherwise cannot go. And that's my effort to take you into so many universes where you yourself can't, can't go. Sadly or happily, that universe is going to be, as long as I am alive, about Bharat and India. Uh, that gentleman, and then we call it a day, yes. It's not really a question, it's a thanks for day one to Indian Express, to Lakshmi Ma'am, at Piyush Chawla ji. It was a wonderful day and the last one hour was just like what we watched in Port of Spain years ago. Sunil Gavaskar scored century number one, <laughs> Sai Deepak, and then it was followed by G.R. Vishwanath's brilliant century, and India has won. Thank you, India. Today. Thank you very much uh, for being a wonderful audience. Thank you, Vivek, Thank you. for Thank always you, taking all my questions, even if they're rude. Thank you very much. <laughs>